Elements of the Philosophy of Newton is a book written by the philosopher Voltaire in 1738 that helped to popularize the theories and thought of Isaac Newton. This book, coupled with letters on the English, written in 1733, demonstrated that Voltaire had moved beyond the simple poetry and plays he had written previously. A new and definitive edition was published in 1745 that contained an initial section on Newton's metaphysics, originally published separately in 1740. By 1745, when the definitive edition of Voltaire's Elements was published, the tides of thought were turning his way, and by 1750 the perception had become widespread that France had been converted from backward, erroneous Cartesianism to modern, enlightened Newtonianism thanks to the heroic intellectual efforts of figures like Voltaire. Contents Chapter 1 What Light Is, and In What Manner It Comes to Us Chapter 2 The property, which light has of reflecting itself, was not truly known. It is not reflected by the solid parts of bodies as vulgarly believed. Chapter 3 Of the property which light has of refracting in passing from one substance into another, and of taking a new course in its progression. Chapter 4 Of the form of the eye, and in what manner light enters and acts in that organ. Chapter 5 Of looking glasses, and telescopes. Reasons given by mathematicians for the mysteries of vision, that those reasons are not altogether sufficient. Chapter 6 In what manner we know distances, magnitudes, figures, and situations. Chapter 7 Of the cause of the breaking of the rays of light in passing from one medium to another, that this causes a general law of nature, unknown before Newton, that the inflection of light is also an effect of the same cause. Chapter 8 The Wonderful Effects of the Refraction of Light The several rays of light have all possible colors in themselves, what refrangibility is. New Discoveries Chapter 9 The Cause of Refrangibility From which it appears that there are indivisible bodies in nature. Chapter 10 Proof that there are indivisible atoms, and that the simple particles of light are atoms of that kind. Discoveries Continued Chapter 11 of the Rainbow, that phenomenon a necessary effect of the laws of refrangibility. Chapter 12 New discoveries touching the cause of colors, which confirm the preceding doctrine, demonstration that colors are occasioned by the density and thickness of the parts of which bodies are composed. Chapter 13 Consequences of these discoveries, the mutual action of bodies upon light. Chapter 14 of the resemblance between the seven primitive colors and the seven notes in music. Chapter 15 Introductory ideas concerning gravity and the laws of attraction. That the opinion of a subtle matter, vortices, and a plenitude, ought to be rejected. Chapter 16 That the vortices and plenitude of Descartes are impossible, and consequently that there is some other cause of gravity. Chapter 17 What is meant by vacuity in space, without which there could be neither gravity nor motion. Chapter 18 Gravitation demonstrated from the discoveries of Galileo and Newton, that the moon revolves in her orbit by the force of this gravitation. Chapter 19 That gravitation and attraction direct all the planets in their courses. Chapter 20 Demonstrations of the Laws of Gravitation, drawn from the rules of Kepler. That one of these laws of Kepler demonstrates the motion of the Earth. Chapter 21 New Proofs of Attraction. That the inequalities of the motion and orbit of the Moon are necessarily the effects of attraction. Chapter 22 New Proofs and New Effects of Gravitation. That this power is in every particle of matter. Discoveries dependent on this principle. Chapter 23 The Theory of Our Planetary World Chapter 24 of the Zodiacal Light, the Comets, and the Fixed Stars Chapter 25 of the Second Inequalities of the Motion of the Satellites, and the Phenomena that Depend Thereon Glossary Explanations of the Hard Words Used in this Treatise